All right, what's up, guys? Uh, came with Courtside Collectibles here at Channel Hutchinson, Chicago Bulls. We're gonna bust uh, Cornerstones Basketball. PYT. Thanks again, everybody. So congrats on being drafted. So you guys got a pretty young squad now, right? Yeah, man. Really young, actually. Yeah. So what was the... Uh, what was that? Was that just personal choice to change up the shot, or just kind of like? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. it was it was definitely personal choice. Yeah. You know, just from uh, watching the. Like, how was that whole process like? You had to like watch other uh, shooters. Absolutely, or, like, yeah. it was a lot. I mean, it became honestly for me, like after my sophomore year, it became like an obsession. Honestly, yeah. it was like I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about like. But how was your shot before? It. Um, it wasn't. Yeah, no yeah. Just I know your scoring went up a bunch though. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mechanics and my shot, whoever taught me how to shoot, <laughs> uh, it wasn't the best fundamentals. Um, but you were hooping though, still. So you got to yeah, work it somewhat, right? Yeah, and but that was the thing though. Once I fixed my shot, I mean, yeah, then that opened level. up so much for me. That's cool. So and that's a continued process. You know, obviously the three point line in the NBA a little further. But yeah, yeah. I think I'll be alright. I know a lot of rookies last year were having problems with like stepping out of bounds on the side. Yeah, a little further. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So on this one, we're just gonna open them up, and then uh, you just that's the camera for the cards, so you okay. just show like the cards on there. There's that. I'll open one with you unless you want to just open. But yeah. Um, so last year who was that Markinen. Markinen was a big guy uh -huh. last year. Yeah, yeah, his his three yeah. legit. His shot is legit. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to most in this upcoming season? Uh, are you just playing in the NBA arena? Man. Yeah, you got any uh, arenas you're excited to like actually go play in? Like any particular ones, like Madison um, or Staples? Or? Yeah, Staples. Staples. I'm from I'm from that area, yeah. Southern California. So, so we a uh, Lakers fan growing up? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. there we go. <laughs> so I mean, so what are you about the big move? It's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, it's unreal. Just seeing those videos that he's got and. Uh, I've been working out in LA. Yeah, and it was. Uh, it was and uh, I was watching that the other day, and I was telling my wife, I was like, "Man, it's like, as a Lakers fan, it's so weird seeing him in purple and gold." It doesn't, yeah. It's yeah. gonna take some while to get used to. That's for sure. But I wish I could watch him as a fan a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good though. Yeah. It's been a while for my Lakers squad. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, I'm a big Lakers fan too, so it's been rough. But like people act like it wasn't like no, I mean, forever I mean, since we won a, a couple, title, you, you know. Get a like, exactly, you get a couple of them, then you can have a five, six years. Yeah, you just know. the way I get one is tough. As long as you don't get that fifty-year drought like <laughs> Cleveland, or something, <laughs> then it starts to become. Yeah. <laughs> couple cards. Rolo. My big man. Marcus Smart. As yeah, if you want to open that uh, Julius. For the Pelicans now. This guy, man. His body is like oh, I know. straight cut after yeah, that one summer. He got right. So you you like um, for this upcoming? You like uh, doing any more? Uh, like you have to change your diet at all or anything like that? Or? Um, diet? No, my diet. I I, I, I just doing that for the I probably eat the right yeah I, get, I eat the right stuff no you know, like it's burgers and fries yeah and no fast food obviously no fried food try to limit that stuff and the sweets obviously but Purvis shorts uh, yeah, look at look at that's a throwback you wanna rock those shorts right there no some of these dudes still rock like that <laughs> so that's the that's the swag for some of these guys I see them out of 49 LaMarcus Spurs so he got a new teammate DeMar DeRozan that's gonna be interesting because they won a lot of games without Kawhi, and then now they got a. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. John Collins. So you you guys are in Central, so you're gonna be playing with Pacers, Cavaliers, Bucks. Oh, you guys play Giannis. Yep. And whoever else makes it out of these. Yeah. Tell me, they'll find that. You have any particular uh, goals for yourself this year? Um. You know, I haven't I haven't really sat down and thought about him quite yet. Yeah, just kind of you know, like so wanna, far. Yeah, yeah. You want to make obviously you want to set the bar 
really high for yourself. Yeah, you should. You yeah, want to make them yeah. realistic at the same time. Yeah. So, so like, what's that, a realistic goal that like, medium. you think would be? Um, like, all, in, all rookie team, something like that? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I could make, you know, obviously, it's, I don't want to say, like, first or second. I would yeah. say all rookie team would be a goal. Yeah. You know, I feel like, I mean, this class is loaded, but still, I still feel like, you know, for one, they can't, there's a lot of bigs. And they yeah. can't put all the bigs on the rookie yeah, team. Yeah, no, no, that's you know? true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, this draft, is, this draft is kind of crazy with uh, all the bigs now. Like, that's yeah. like a new prototype. Now. Yeah. I feel like it's open, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, but, I mean, a team goal definitely want to make the playoffs. And yeah. I feel like... Where do, you, where do you think it's going to take for you guys to do that? Like, you guys are pretty young. And yeah, definitely. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the buy-in. Yeah. It's going to be the buy-in. And, I mean, I don't know a ton obviously about the NBA life yeah, and things like that right? so I, I'm not going to say I know what it takes yeah. but at the same time you know basketball is basketball yeah, yeah. It's, it's been good. a team game since I played it when I first started playing it's all about chemistry and how guys you know play with each other so have you already started uh, training and working with some of your teammates yeah yeah the past three weeks we've been over there uh, I actually haven't been able to do a ton the past two weeks I had the flu for about two weeks uh, okay. so I'm just coming off that that's um, hard too I'll be this happy weekend. Uh, oh yeah I lost a bunch of weight that's how they got me out here in the jersey I'm feeling all skinny <laughs> out here man but uh, it's all good though people calling you out or what uh, no <laughs> but you know it's, it's me more than anything yeah yeah but we got some time, obviously, before season, so get healthy, yeah. get right. So, like, do you have, like, a goal, like, putting on, like, a certain amount of muscle or anything like that? Yeah. Um, when I first came in, I was, like, 204. Yeah. So getting up to the 210. 210. You know, not put on a ton at once. Yeah. If I can push like, 215, that'd be yeah. ideal. Because, you know, having to run a bronze, like, 260. <laughs> That's crazy though. There's not a lot of players like Bron though. Bron is, and he's like kind of skinny though. Like he's not skinny, yeah. but yeah. He's, he's he's cut. Yeah, he's yeah. good. And 260 for that. Like, so who you'd sense. be guarding mostly? Well, like small threes. fours, yeah, threes. threes. Yeah. Yeah. Toughest spot to guard, man. Yeah, threes, KD, threes pretty loaded. Just Clay, Draymond, who else? Yeah, three because people play all over now. Small ball. Yeah. So that's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah that's that's a lot of. A lot of dudes you're gonna have to defend. Yeah. You think you get a little uh, like star stunned when you see like one of LeBron or any of those big guys like KD or anything like that? I don't know. Have about you met Starson. any of them before? I don't know about stars. No, I actually haven't. Yeah. I actually haven't met a ton of current NBA players. Yeah. Um, Frank Jackson. He's a fool. <laughs> nah, he was cool over here. <laughs> Are you good friends with any of the rookies from this year? No, I don't. I didn't know a ton of guys. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Wendell because teammates. Yeah. Uh, Michael Porter, he's with my agency. Oh, okay. Uh, a few dudes, not a lot. Nate Thurman. No, man. But they're just good guys. Good yeah. guys in this class. Now uh, everyone's excited about this class. I think in the next few classes, it's crazy. Like I was watching videos of like, you know, even high school prospects like coming up. Like a lot of them just, it's just crazy. Like. The circuit for like all the you know, yeah. the camps and all that stuff, which is crazy. Exposure is unreal now. You got guys yeah, it's, going it's all, into high school that you know their name already. Yeah, that's you know, crazy. They're four years in high school, their household name. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a bonus. So I know uh, I was talking to um, someone else earlier about like, I know one of the big things in the NBA is kind of like players swapping jerseys and stuff. Mm -hmm getting them signed. Is there any player in particular like you know you go like you know down to swap jerseys or whatever? Man, um I was like Kobe ain't playing anymore. No, I have never even thought about that. Yeah. Ever. That's the first time you have Yeah, who would be like the first jersey you throw up on your wall like Well I got the Panini hooked it up with that Kobe sign. Oh yeah. So nice. that's I not a bad that first too. one to have. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah you ever be... watch his uh, his detail videos? I do. Yeah. I do. I've watched a couple of them. What's your What's your thoughts on those? Um, is like, I don't is it, know. Is man. it like stuff like you kind of already knew, or like you, or stuff like you wouldn't even think about? Oh, it's, crazy. No, it's like you don't even think about it. Yeah. You know, like he talks about defense contesting with like the left hand as opposed to the right hand on the right hand, left hand shooter. Yeah. Like footwork stuff. His footwork uh, is crazy. Yeah, he just sees <laughs> it completely different. Yeah. You know, I, I was I was lucky enough to you know meet with him. 
sit down and talk to him for about 45 minutes and just kind of pick oh, his Oh, recently? Brain. Yeah, this oh, summer. Oh, man. That's cool. Um, I know uh, last year, or this summer, I think Tatum was working with him in the gym. Yeah. Is yeah that, I mean... If you got an opportunity to do that, would he, you... Uh, no, well, actually, we were, he had offered to work me out. <laughs> oh, for um, real? It didn't work out schedule-wise with oh, the draft and everything, crazy, and obviously he's busy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he, like, it's busy when he lost gave me his number and everything. <laughs> oh, that's he's cool. He's so willing to do a bunch. So uh, I'm definitely trying to gonna try to take advantage of that here in the future. Like, what do you? Uh, what's kind of like? So you already changed your shot up. Like, what's kind of the next thing you're trying to add to your game? Um, I, the biggest thing I'd say is just working on different types of finishes. Honestly, like finishing at the rim, or yeah. Just, well, yeah. yeah, not not necessarily at the rim because I feel like once I get there, yeah. my athleticism and length. Yeah. I don't have a crazy, that, that hard of a time finishing. Yeah. But it's like when you can't quite get there, yeah. there's a big guy sitting there. You'd that, probably be like 82 games. That's, yeah. You might be tired. So, yeah, no yeah, question. So yeah. you got to get the floaters in. Yeah. You know, Steph is a master. He's the floaters. Man. I love the uh, Steve, Nash, Steve Nash's like floater. Sick. Oh, yeah, Steve Nash. Yeah, his floater and is then, crazy. And then like the mid-range game, too. So just kind of those in-between spots that you can't quite get to your spot, get to the rim, but you still got to make a play. So how do you how do you train for that, though? Like, you just, like, just over and over. Like, I know, like, Kobe used to shoot, like, 2,000 shots a day or whatever. It was, yeah. Like, in certain spots in the floor that like, he's trying to run. It's, like, so, like, something you do, or you're yeah, just, like, I mean, switching up all well, over the court. So as a player, and at this point, you basically know where your spots are, where you yeah, need yeah. to, mainly. Yeah. So if you know, you know that, then you know, okay, this is where I get to a lot. Uh -huh. Then you start working on different types of shots in that area. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it'd be nice to obviously work on every single spot on the court, but yeah. if you don't get there often or you don't shoot from there, you just kind of, there's no real point. Yeah. And you want to get really good at, or get a lot better at what you're already good at, not necessarily get good at something you're bad at, per se, or yeah. not as good at. Because NBA, man. You gotta have you a couple spots to go to. You're not gonna be able to shoot everyone on the floor. Yeah, so. it's definitely way different from college, right? Did you like notice any of that playing in the summer league? Like absolutely, physicality. Yeah, that was the first thing. You know, you're getting, like, you're getting bumped. You beat a guy, and you know, you never really beat him uh, completely because they're poking from behind, or uh, you know, you're getting fouled, but you're not. They're not really calling in. It's no big deal. It's not like you're getting hacked. Did you play against any like second year guys that are like? Kind of know the ropes or anything. Yeah, playing, yeah. Right? I mean, Josh Hart was the yeah. biggest guy. I tell everyone, you know. I love our MVP. Summer, man. Yeah. He, he was playing a different game than everybody. Yeah. You know, when you play valuable minutes in the NBA uh, with a team like, you know, Lakers obviously weren't a playoff team, yeah. but every minute you play on the Lakers is a valuable is valuable minutes because it's always future minded and they're always planning uh, for the future. It's so, crazy. Like he. Yeah, how many how many years did you stay at Boise? Four. Four. Yeah, I was there all four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just crazy. Like, yeah. Kyrie, crazy handles. Demarcus. Yeah, I've been watching film on Kyrie. Kyrie's mm -hmm. trying it's to improve stuff, your ball handling. Or? Stuff you. Do, I mean, it's not. It's just uh, you know, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't you can't duplicate what he does. Yeah. It's, as hard uh, as you, as long as you try, man. He's just different. Donovan. So what was it like living in Boise? It was cool, man. I'm, I'm low maintenance, so, you know, Small everyone's, town. what's there to do? This, and I'm like, I didn't need anything to do. You know, yeah. I had my, my room, on ball, my roommates, cool. and hoops. That's all I yeah. needed. My teammates. Yeah, uh, I remember uh, driving through there. There's some good food there. Oh, uh, yeah. They're really spot. good food, and they're expanding. It's going to be a good spot yeah. here in a couple of years. I mean, it already is, and then, obviously, you got football squad so nationally known now your uh your foot your family's all in la or SoCal? Yeah. orange county orange yeah. county but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah southern california christian right. leitner so how many you guys probably play probably only play two games or one game in la oh you guys you play clippers too right? yeah what do you play two two East two two west two uh, Western, yeah, you play two, so you'll get but sometimes you only get one, yeah, I don't so know you, you'll get Clippers and couple. Lakers. Yeah. Clippers and Lakers, between the two. Yep. Uh, your whole family going to be there cheering you on and all that? Going to try to. Yeah. Going to try to. Denzel, I wonder if ticket prices are crazy now. Or not. Yeah, we get a couple. I know I'm going to have people hit me up left and right. <laughs> it's so always like I'm going to have to right? figure that out, how yeah. I'm going to handle that. But family first, all right? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no yeah. question. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy more even just for them. Because yeah. Out of bio. I got, there's seven of us, so, yeah. you know, I think we get like 
four for away. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to figure yeah. that out too. So. It's all good though. Have them rotate. <laughs> yeah, you pick the game you want. Yeah, exactly. You can't have them all. That's cool though. So what was your favorite part of this event? Like The photo shoot was pretty cool with yeah. like doing the moves and two oh, yeah. and stuff. Um, I don't know. I get to sit down here, so this is in my top. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. Like Those moves are going to be in cards, man. Yeah, it's no, just that man. wild. Like, I know. You're going to actually be on cards next year. Or what? Uh, so far, um, Crown, uh, Crown Royale has been... And then we put the, pulled the AI spotlight in the war. Yeah. You want to open one? The newest Laker. <laughs> MB. I, I kind of like that pickup. Like, he can score, like, if yeah. he's coming off the bench, like, and he's gonna he get buckets. Like he'll, he'll take the JR spot role. Yeah. Or the JR Smith spot uh, role. But JR, like though, is only threes. I think he can score anywhere on the floor. That's what I like about him. That's a good point. Tobias. J it's weird, because JR. What's this? Uh, that's his set number, so, like, on the back of these. So this is like a regular card, and it's part 134. So guys that put sets together, they're trying to get every number and put them in order. While the oh, players, okay. yeah. So in this set, yeah. So that's the materials one. So that, and then the players and issues. Oh, so okay. Tobias. Okay. Yeah. Antoine Walker. The King the Dream. Oh, Dream. So on those ones, so like some of these, like you saw this one. Uh, Tobias has like a regular jersey piece, uh -huh. and this one you got the multicolors. Okay. Those are called patches, and those are probably like people really love those. More ones. valuable. Yeah. Zach Randolph. Zebo. That's a big dude right there. He's short. He's not yeah, that but tall he's though. Yeah, two fifty. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like LeBron's <laughs> bigger than him, but Zebo looks way bigger. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't think we're ever gonna see like another LeBron like six eight six whatever. He's six eight no, or six he's six, one six, six eight, right? Oh no, yeah, LeBron six two six five. They say he's like like a linebacker, even six good. nine maybe. It's crazy. Yeah, I still gotta get used to him in the Lakers jersey, man. It's freaking me right? out. Like I, as a Lakers fan, like I've rooted against him kind of, you know, for the longest time, and then like now he's like, it's kind of weird. That's what I say. It's crazy. So like. Everyone's like, who's your favorite player growing up? And I'm like, Kobe, obviously. Yeah. I hated LeBron. Yeah, exactly, right? I hated him. I yeah. couldn't stand him. Now I'm like, he's yeah. definitely my favorite player in the game. Yeah. What, what, what most do you like about his game? Because he's a, he's a point guard. Yeah. He's a, he, no, he's, he, he, he's all five positions yeah. in one, in one person. Like. You think, you think uh, Simmons could replicate kind of what he's, he's done? It's just going to be hard. That's like he pretty high bar. Shoot. Yeah. Be able to shoot. I think, yeah, because coming in NBA, LeBron, he didn't have a great shot, but he could still shoot. Yeah. But like Simmons, he doesn't even take shots. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the thing. It. That's that's the, I'm not going to like an expert, but <laughs> the biggest like concern is when they don't shoot at all. Because yeah. at least step up and shoot yeah, yeah. to show that maybe you've been working on it or something. But yeah. the thing with him that's concerning is like when they ask him about it, he says, like, oh no, I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't need to shoot, yeah. you know, because then it's, it's like, come on, yeah, why not, you know? Yeah, he can, uh, yeah, but he's so big too. What is he like? 6'10 yeah, ten no, or he's he's a freak. Man. Yeah, he's like six ten, right? He's a freak. Like Some of the stuff he does, he's like, he's kind of, he's a way more athletic Magic. Yeah, you know, because yeah. Magic kind of had that same. Yeah, he didn't, couldn't really shoot. But let's do it. Window. Okay. Don't throw him some dunks. I'm gonna try to. No warm up, nothing, just straight out there. <laughs> Call his time. Like, yeah, I know, right? I'm not even, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just throw it up against the rim. I trust the photographers to make it look good. <laughs> D'Angelo. Looks like your go to move. My go to? Yeah. Um, do you like to step back uh, James Harden like everybody else? Nah, That's like everyone nah, tries I, to do I that. I need now. that in the, in the bag. Oh, for you, sure, you wanna add that? Yeah. All right. Hey, I appreciate your time. Yeah, man. thank you. Hey, good luck with you.